Hey everyone, it's King Touch Pro here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'll be going over how to create a avatar for your YouTube channel, which is really cool. Um, someone has requested me to do a tutorial using GIMP. I don't use GIMP, I only used it once, but I, I usually use Adobe Photoshop CS6 to do a lot of my um, editing stuff um, for like my, my channel and my avatars and thumbnails. So let's go ahead and begin. First, create a new document. So go over to File and New. And you can go ahead and name it something. I'm going to just leave, well, I'm going to just might as well name it Avatar. The width should be 800. The height should be 800 pixels. Make sure it's not inches because that's going to be, whew, that's going to be a really, nat. it's going to be gross. <laughs> Resolution 72 pixels per inch. And just keep uh, the background. Contents should be white. I don't like it transparent because um, you can't, you have to fill it in with something. So I usually have it at white. And the reason I, it's on pixels is because it's pixels. We don't want to be working with inches. Of course, that's going to give us like a humongous image size. So click OK. And you should be brought up like this. So your avatar is going to look something like, like this on YouTube. Okay, just keep that in mind. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to enable my rulers here by pressing Command R or Control R if you're on Windows. And we're going to go ahead and add a gradient to this because who doesn't like gradients? Gradients are adds a beautiful um, effect to your avatar. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer for this. Layer 1. I'm going to go ahead and double click this to open up our layer, sta layer style window. Go over to uh, color or not color, go to gradient overlay, and we're going to be selecting, or actually, no, delete that layer, my bad, sorry. We're going to be using the gradient tool, actually. So go over to the left here and look for the uh, gradient tool, which is this one right here. And we're going to be adding the color on, these, on this right here. So just double click that. It should bring up the gradient editor. Here you can change the color to your liking. I'm going to choose a nice grayish color for the sake of this tutorial. So what we want to start off with is a dark color and end up with a lighter color. Usually you want to keep it um, something like this to a to a softer let's go white. You want to go really like dark and then blend in with a light color of the same same uh, how should I explain it in the same uh, position like in the same color range. That's what I'm trying to say. Kind of kind of hard to explain. Uh, and click OK. So I'm going to go ahead and make this smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and click in the middle and hold down Shift. I'm going to just move it up here. And there you go. You have created a really nice, cool gradient for this. You could also, uh, if I were you, I would actually um, double click this lock icon to, um, to have it unlocked. So you can play around with that. You can also go over to Filter, Lens Correction, and go over to Custom, and where it says Vignette, you can actually increase or decrease the amount to, to add a vignette. So I usually keep it in between negative 6, and then I just put it in about negative 30. And then you can just click OK. What has happened to my mouse? Lost its sensitivity. And yeah, but I like to hold or go to the using the gradient tool, so I'm going to click hold down shift like that. And, that. and that gives it a cool effect. Now, this is where it come or this is where it gets a little interesting or a little more complicated. You can either have your logo here or you can type in your initials for your YouTube channel like or have anything here. Doesn't matter. It's all personal preference on what you're going to be having here. So, since mine is King Tuts Pro now, not Peekum Fun Fan 97 anymore cuz it's it's kind of weird to say it. I don't know. I'm just I'm just going for something new here. So I'm gonna go ahead and type KTP for this, and my font is white, so I'm gonna change it to uh, let's go with like a like a nice grayish color. Uh, that's that's good. Just to like it, just to make it a little unique. All right, so I'm gonna just type K, and then it's better if you're doing initials. It's better to do them separately like not just type it in all in one because you can't add, actually edit each um, single each single letter so it's better to have it uh, typed in individually for each letter okay so I have K here I'm gonna move this here 
I'm gonna resize this later right now, but for the sake of this for the sake of this video, I'm gonna make it like this. Now if I were you, I would group these together. So um just press command and click all of them, or you can click the top one and hold down shift and then click the bottom layer and then press command G or control G. I use a lot of shortcuts in Photoshop, so that's the type of guy I am. So I don't know. Uh go ahead and name the group. I'm gonna just name it um Initial, initial. I think that's how you spell it. No, that's not how you spell it. I'll just put it KTP. I don't. I don't feel like typing <laughs> initials. So within the group, you can go ahead and edit each single one of these. But I'm gonna go ahead and resize this to a pretty large, large, because you want to be able to. Because you want um this to be able. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. You want this to be visible from far away, from like. See, if I zoom out really tiny, I can still read it. So that's a good thing. So if you're going to be writing something really small or have like a slogan or a subtitle, like it's really small, I wouldn't recommend adding it because in reality, it's going to be really small on YouTube, like on the subscriptions page. It's going to, you can't read like, what does mine say? It says, um, oh, tutorials at your fingertips. If I add that right here, no one's going to read it. No, nope, everyone's going to read the actual heading, which is KTP or in this case, or in your case, whatever it's gonna be, it could be a logo, just design it to however you want. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and, go ahead and I'm gonna change the layer style here. I'm gonna add a drop shadow, just to make it look a little fancy here. I'm not gonna add it like this, because it looks really ugly, and it looks like you haven't spent any time with this, so I usually keep it about, like, I don't know, 20. The distance, not too far, I don't want it to look unrealistic either so I'm gonna have it like seven and the spread I usually have no spread and I I do kind of increase the size a little bit like to like eight and I click OK now I don't want to repeat the same step so what I do is I just right click on the layer that we have um, put in or added our effect then I go over to copy layer style then I go over to my other layers and I just paste layer style so I paste them right here so paste layer style so then so they now all have the same layer style so i can just click these arrows to minimize the effects that we have on our layer so now if we look further away you can see that it looks much much better ktp for um for king tuts pro i don't know why i chose that username it's kind of weird but deal with it <laughs> um so we have ktp here now we want to go ahead and make this a little more interesting okay so not, we don't want it just to look boring and plain. So you can do what is called typography and be really smart with this and kind of work your way around. So if we, let's see, you can like manipulate some really cool stuff here. So that looks pretty cool. It's a cool effect that you can add KTP as in a really nice logo. Um, you could do this, but you can see if I look closely, it looks like it's on top with the drop shadow. So I would just go over to the P or layer or whatever you're gonna be using and I can just take that off. So now it looks like it's joined. Um, so, or I can just go here and change the angle, but that will change the angle to all of them. So I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna just uncheck that. So now it looks like this. You may be wondering, oh, well now it looks a little bit weird and it does, but not too much. So we wanna make sure that this kind of blends in here. So if you can move it around a bit, that will be nice. I just move it down like this. Um, so that looks good enough. So now if I were to, or just get my group, make it a little bit bigger so people can read it or see it, not read it. Um, so this looks good. Now, if you want to center it so it's perfectly centered in the middle, good, make sure you have your rulers out uh, and then just click and drag anywhere on top. And if you drag it to the middle, it will just snap like this. And that's that's the middle. And do the same here. So right here is the middle. I would click our group because that's all these layers are in a group. So whatever I do to this group, it will affect everything inside of it. So this is the middle right here. And to get rid of it, get rid of it, press command and then the colon. Uh, and that will get rid of it. So yeah, I use a lot of shortcuts or control colon if you're on Windows. Or you can go to view, uh, show and guides. 
you can see here, it's a semicolon, my bad. And there you go, that's how you create a really nice avatar. It's a clean, simple uh, avatar. Um, you could do a lot of stuff with this. Like, this is just a basic um, avatar for my channel. I don't know if I should use this. Looks pretty interesting, but I have my other avatar that I should show you um, that I have created here. I'm gonna go over to pictures, PSD templates. Here it is. I just named it this right here. And what I did here was a, it's a little more advanced um, from from this. But hey, who is who? Who are you to judge? You know, there are people that use this, and that's really it's really nice. Okay, I've seen some really horrible, nasty looking ones, or some that don't even use any. So props to whoever does have an avatar. But I mean, this is the one I I have added. Um, so if I go over, this is a picture. I just if you want to. Uh, see how I did this Leave a comment below and I'll show you exactly how to do a avatar exactly like this um, uh, If you give me 20 or more likes on this video, then I'll be happy to do so and I'll catch you guys on my next video peace and don't forget to rate <laughs> peace